Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Friday, December 17th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us every week at 1030 a.m. for Sunday worship, especially during this glad Advent season. My scripture today is Proverbs chapter 14, verse 31. Whoever oppresses a poor man insults his maker, but he who is generous to the needy honors him. This is the word of the Lord. Well, the economic news this Christmas season is not very good. Inflation has reared its ugly head, and so prices are higher at the grocery store, restaurants, everywhere we make purchases. And that is not good news. Now, wages are not keeping pace, although Social Security recipients will receive a 5% boost in January, but that might not be enough for enjoying this holiday season economically. Well, however you choose to cope with these changing winds economically, I ask you, please remember the poor especially. Why? Because those who are needy suffer more when inflation comes upon us. Let me explain. If you are middle class or upper class, you have many purchases, many expenses, many goods and services that you can cut back on without really affecting your life too terribly much. You can buy cheaper goods. You can do with less. You can go out fewer times and so forth. Now, even though you might be fairly close to the line, there are still ways that you can save money and you can still keep the ship afloat. People on the bottom have already adopted all of those measures. They've already cut corners everywhere they can. Now I know what you'll say, you always see a poor person with a nice iPhone. Well, those are actually few and far between. The truth is that many people living close to the edge have almost nothing that we would consider essential for a good life. So let's be generous this Christmas season. Let inflation help our donations, our generosity, and our outreach in missions to increase so that we would remember that there was a child born into relative poverty and obscurity, and he grew to be Messiah, King, and Lord. Let's remember the poor this holiday season. Let us pray. Lord, we ask that you would bless us this Christmas season, but also remind us that especially in a time of economic uncertainty, generosity to the poor is of primary importance. Bless us, love us, and give us Christmas joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.